Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkid. So I have a build update phase. Um, I'm currently working on this shark shooter. Now, in the description, it does say it's a light gun. These aren't light guns. They are real shooter guns. So they work like analog sticks. Um, they have potentiometers on there. So they work like analog sticks. You can't put these on an extended cable and move them around and point them at the screen and so on because there's no sensors. But it does require zero sensors on your TV or on your large screen. So zero sensors it needs. These are just fully plug and play. Now, if you've ever played in the arcades um, on games like Transformers, um, Let's Go Jungle, Let's Go Island, stuff like that, um, the Jurassic Park game as well, that's what these guns are designed for. Um, they're designed like proper arcade guns. They are proper arcade guns. They are replacements for the alien um, setup. So they are alien guns. But I graphic these up, I make them look extra pretty, I put extra custom products on and stuff like that, custom um, artwork and stuff. So we've got a Spider-Man design, the customer went with a Spider-Man unit, so we've got this um, Spider-Man theme. I've got to get some more toy blue tea moulding, um, hopefully there is some in stock and it doesn't delay this build. But I've got most of the parts in and stuff. Um, like I said, these are fully plug and play. The hardware inside, which I'll show you in a second, is out there. Basically, it's got a... Well, I'll show you in a minute, anyways. So, like I said, we've got the Spider-Man design. I've got a print. Um, I usually wrap these with um, vinyl, but this one I'm not going to. I'm actually going to print acrylic, and I'm going to do a custom print for the top as well, like I've done on the Jurassic Park build. If you haven't seen that build, um, Wicked Gamer Collections has got a brilliant video. I do recommend you go and check that out. Just search Light Gun on YouTube. I think it's a third one down. Depends where what location you're at, but on me, for me, down the shop and up the house, it comes up the third video down. But um, Wicked Gamer, check that video out. He's done an outstanding review of the unit. Um, these come with full 24 volt recoils. The kickback on these are ridiculous. It's so strong, so loud. Um, by default, they are disabled the recoils. Other than Aliens Extermination. Aliens Extermination, by default, the guns themselves um, will be on recoil. But by default, for all the other games and systems, they are off. Now we've been doing some updates, me and Chris Cool Mods. Um, we have the PS2 stuff running on these guns. No one else has got that set up yet for these guns. We've got the PS2 stuff running flawlessly with these guns. Absolutely flawless. Um, we've got the true recoil, all that cool stuff. And actually got HD textures as well. Check out Chris Cool Mods video because the HD textures, the way the game looks, is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous time crisis 2 time crisis 3 all that cool stuff as well so we've got some more time crisis games and stuff on there um with like i say the hd textures so this has come along nicely i made it just to start on this day um i had a few delays with the um day of the dead unit now this is going to be colorful man um so much going on on the artwork so many different colors and stuff like that um this is going to look quality um but i'm trying to get the other unit out and waiting for some wii controllers so i can do my final configurations on them and um, i had a ton of wii controllers just go bad um because i order the con controllers i don't test them as they come in usually i just put them in my box and leave them there till i need them um but unfortunately i had about five six packs which is a couple of hundred quids worth of wii controllers all just didn't work um faults with them stuff like that so i've ordered a bulk in i'm waiting for them to come in hopefully them work absolutely spot on and um, then i can get the um last starfighter unit up i haven't posted the video yet of the um bubble bubble one the um rainbow islands um, I've got the video there to edit. I just haven't had time. I've had you guys calling us constantly, man. I've had um, inquiries and stuff. I've had loads of stuff on, tons of stuff in like personal life as well and everything. It just honestly, I, 
I'm, I never stop. Two, three o'clock in the morning, I'm sat up with Chris Cool Mods. We're working on drives. Um, I'm doing design work. I'm talking to customers in the US, which is late at night and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm burning the candle both ends, but I want to try and catch up with these delayed builds. Try and get these next um, 10 orders or so done out the door. And then I should be good. I should be caught up nicely. But because obviously I'm working a lot on my own at the moment. The missus does come and help, but she's learning. She's um, training up at the minute. So um, it'll take her a little while and stuff. She suffers ba bad pains and stuff. So lifting big heavy units and stuff like that isn't good for her. Um, but she's breaking her back to help out. Um, but at the minute, I'm working mainly on my own with a lot of stuff. So I've done just started this a day. Most of the parts are in. I'll put the camera down in a second and I'll just open up the unit. I know a few people like to want to have a look inside. And um, some parts and stuff like that I do hide away. Um basically because I have some custom parts made up. Okay. So I'll put the camera down in a second. I'll move the top off this unit. So when you get order a shark shooter arcade right you are getting an RTX 3060 graphics card you're getting a 12 gig GPU okay so running um the techno parrot game stuff like that in 4k no problem it'll piddle all over it you get a small form factor um, CPU fan and um, there you get your Ryzen 5, you get your 16 gig of DDR4 RAM as well. And you get your terabyte M.2 SSD. All nice, compact, absolutely nice and compact. We're going to have our 24 volt, um, 24 volt power supply in there as well. And um, that's for the guns themselves. You do need quite a powerful power supply though. And um, plenty of amperage to handle the recoil on those guns. Like I say sound on the videos and stuff like that doesn't come in comparison when you're pulling the trigger on these guns it's exactly like you are in arcade it's rut -tut -tut -tut. it's loud it's really loud and like i say you can't turn that off but it is off by default but you can switch it on and off and stuff like that but to be honest it if you've got to play you might as well play with the recoil man um like i say we are supporting a lot more games with true recoil um there's so much stuff i've done in the background and um, basically if you watch brad's day video and um, regarding the recoil and setting up the recoil and stuff like that on these guns and um, brad day got that all that info from me okay so now you see gun for ir with a recoil through mame hooker and stuff that was all started through me sending brad day stuff all all that was everyone jumped on that bandwagon through me okay so i've done so much in the background with the recoil i, I, I do it a, a different way to what brad d does it there's a process i've got that allows different little features that you don't generally get you know what i mean um and like i say i go through every game every game load it up check it check if it's slow if it's not a true recoil game i check to see if it's a true recoil game and um, i set that game up with true recoil if it doesn't have true recoil then what i do is i look at the game pull the trigger a few times see if it's rapid fire single shot or and um, burst fire and then i'll go in and i'll edit the system to simulate that recoil so if it's a um slow um, rapid fire so like a tap 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 i'll set it up as a slow rapid fire if it's a rapid rapid fire then i'll set it up and so on so there's like i say i go through everything check everything make sure everything is is simulated if it's simulated recoil i make sure where it's simulated the best it can be um on the system now we will have some wee updates as well um, if you do currently have a shark shooter and you're looking at updating the drive, um, just just hold off until because there's so much stuff getting added. Just to, instead of you sending your drive back, me updating it, then you're sending your um, backup drive back again, me updating it. It just saves having to do that every time. Um, just wait until we've got 
all these new updates because there's so much coming for these units as well. Chris Cool Mods um, Drive is light gun drive, turns these into an all in one arcade setup. Okay, so these now will support Gun for IR, Aim Track, and um, Blamcom, Retro Shooter, Wii Controllers, support it all running through Chris Cool Mods Drive. Now, what you can do is you can order Chris Cool Mods Drive. There's a link on the Shark Shooter page, right? So when you go to order your Shark Shooter on the page just below, there's a link to Chris Cool Mods 2 terabyte drive, right? And um, we, we're gonna have those internally, um, install them internally on SSDs, running through your SATA ports and stuff like that, which will run a bit better, but, we decided um, if those drives needed unplugged, then plugged into another machine and used solely, the can do as well. So we thought just leaving it as a USB, I may try and purchase some um, brackets, some 3D printed brackets for the drive to slot in on the back so we can put it on the back there. It'll just plug in through USB. So then you can just slide the drive out, plug it into your PC, run your gun for iOS on another screen. So everything's portable. That's the way we want things to work. So everything on our systems works portable. What do you look for in a man? I didn't look for men, mate. Anyways. <sighs> <laughs> honestly some people man right so <laughs> so the um like i say we're trying to make everything as portable as possible now we do build pedestals for these i uh, tell you as many times with the pedestals i don't think it's worth it what i charge but i charge what i charge is because i only use the highest quality um melamine mdfs and it comes extremely expensive so I will charge for a pedestal about 500 quid. There is other options as a keyboard, um, adjustable keyboard holder that um, Wicked Gamer posted up. Now, that is all fully adjustable. You could get a banner, put the banner around the unit and then look quality. So it, that's an option, okay? PS5, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 games, and PS6, new Xbox. What are you on, boot man? Anyways, so like I say, we're trying to keep them portable. With a pedestal, they've become a two-in-one. You can put these on top of the pedestal. Um, you can remove it from the pedestal. You can put it into another room. Okay, so fully transportable. You can grab it, throw it in the car, take it around your mate's house, plug it into his TV, off you go. Like I say, these are set for 4K ready. Now, if you go onto a 1080p monitor, we might have to just fiddle around with a few games, okay? Just mess with a couple of games just to get those. Um, I think Wild West Shootout has a um, registry you got to run to tell it it's in um, 1080p. But other than that, most people now have 4K TVs. Um, these are all set up ready for 4K. Now, um, I'm hoping some new cool shooters come out which will support these type of guns okay um so i'm hoping a new a few new cool titles even some higher end titles and stuff um but we'll see how things go there's a lot going on in the scene in the background tons of stuff getting released and coming out i think there's the new walking dead being released for techno parrot now there is some patreon games as well for um techno parrot so you've got the likes of Jurassic Park, um, you've got the Terminator Salvation, um, Big Buck Hunter Pro, and a few few others, I think, um, America's Army and stuff like that. And then there's a new Walking Dead game as well coming out, which would be Techno Parrot Patreon game also. Um, I think the new Akuma as well, which I'll try and showcase that when this is done as well on this unit so i'll try and show that off on this build but um they do come with our units they do come um with 120 volts all the way up to 240 volts so they can be plugged into any system now the 24 volt power supply in these i've got to make sure if it goes off to the us 
there's a switch on them that has to be switched over or the it'll blow the power supply as soon as you plug it into 110 volt it'll blow the power supply so i've got to make a mental note each time one a unit goes off is if it's a uk or us and um, now if you're in the you if you're in the uk and you take your machine for any reason over out the country to the us anywhere that's 110 volts inside there's a switch you've got to switch that switch over and um, full to support that um power out power input sorry and um, like i say we have a hundred to a 240 volt switching power supply inside these are custom power supplies that's why i've hidden it i have these custom made especially for the shark aid units so these um will support all the way up to a 4070 ti graphics card which i've tested works perfectly with um so the the options if there's ever a small form factor 4070 or 40 series graphics card them can also be installed as well um same with the um ultimate deluxe control panels say exactly the same thing so like i say i've done quite a lot of this um i can't find my power supply for this but i do have one up the house i think anyways um i've looked all over but my shop's a bit of a tip at the minute um because i've just been absolutely mental of off me feet so i'll try and find that um if not i've got one up the house i can just throw straight in here so i'll try and do that tomorrow um this will probably be finished end of next week um because i do have the day of the dead one i've got to focus on getting that done and get the other one out the other shop and um, so i'll probably just get the missus doing the bits of touches on this one um monday and stuff and try and get it finished by the end of next week but like I say, it's going to look cool, man. Um, I went through about six, seven different styles and designs with a customer. And this is the one he picked. So all the artwork is, is is enhanced to the highest possible quality on all my builds. So it's all enhanced to the highest possible quality. And this one, this one was a nightmare, man. Though it looks simple design and stuff like that, getting all the different elements and getting them vectorized. Some of the stuff I did get um, already in EPS format and stuff, so it's already pre-vectored and stuff. But there's so much going on with that design work on that unit itself. Um, it's such a good looking, such a good looking unit. And um, when it's finished, it's non-licensed licensed design as well, so there's no um copyrighted images and stuff and stuff like that on this design so um yeah it's going to be interesting once that unit's finished um like i say i've got to make room in the other shop get the actual stand up because this is a four player stand up it's going to be um and then i can get that one done up the other shop so hopefully end of next week that one um alongside this one and i'll try and make a start on the next two builds i've got one customer's two builds next um and then i've got another four player i think unit and stuff like that and some bar tops and stuff once i get once i catch up with those ones get those bar tops out the way and stuff and um, get the next few stand-ups out the way I'm, I'm gonna sort of be catching up a bit um it means them orders i think that are after those are the caught up order so they're about to drop the time for their builds to be done so like i say i've had some delays it is what it is i'll try my best to get as much done and get get them out as quick as i can but i've got to do my tests as well i'll make sure i test all my machines before they go out um you know it is what it is but if you're interested in a shark shooter um, hit us up at dean at sharkhead.co.uk um, we've got I think some discount codes and stuff like that anyways on the shark shooters and stuff like I say they're not cheap but they're not cheap parts um, you're looking at easy 300 quid graphics card um, another free way 250 quid there just on the motherboard very expensive power supply as well because it's custom made um and then the all the bits and pieces the extras the guns don't come cheap shipped imported and stuff like that um sometimes it can be sometimes it can come down in price but sometimes if it's low in stock they go right up in price so i've got to cover my cost
Yeah, we that's that's what I've done a four J rod, mate. You know what I mean? I've, I've built them that way just for the um, even the sh um, control panels. It's the exact same bottom shell, and um, and I can get a sixteen terabyte in there. I keep it as compact as possible. You know what I mean? Make it as light as possible. Now the shark shooters are quite heavy with the guns on top. The weight, the weight in these are those guns because they're not light. Um, but they are built sturdy, man. The it's it's solid steel plates on them, everything on these guns, man. Absolutely solid steel, and I like to keep a nice tight hole. I always keep me hole tight, and then I get I give it a good hammer in. Um, so I hammer these right in, um, just cause the holes are that tight, and um, yeah. I'll get some wing nuts on the bottom of those. Get the LEDs in. Get the custom grill on. Once all the custom parts are on, it's going to look quality, man. It's going to look absolutely quality. Um, what time is it? My clock's wrong up there. I think the battery's dead. I can't tell. Um, I can't check on my phone because I'm busy live. Um, actually, I've got a PC over there switched on. A tough one. I'll probably maybe get a bit more done on these. I've got to go and grab some wing nuts in a ways. Um, hey, dude. Oh, the shooter in the background. That's the, um, that's the House of the Dead one. Um, that's the very first one I've done, actually. Um, it was sold off to someone else. And they've just sent it back for us to have a look at and update and stuff. Um, I think maybe the power supply or something's going a bit iffy on there. But I'm going to update it to the latest update for the guy. Um, but yeah, that's the... Is it House of the Dead? The Gold House of the Dead one? Yeah. But that's one of my first ones. That's when I had big power supplies coming out the back and stuff. So that was um, the mini PCs as well that I was using. Obviously, now I'm using the RTX. So that, that'll only support 1080p, that one. It, any new ones will support obviously the um, 4K with the RTX 3060 graphics card. I think that graphics that graphics card's better than the one you've got in your machine as well, isn't it? Because I think you didn't you have the 2060 in yours. But um, yeah, your bar top, wasn't it? But yeah, it's going to look spot on. All Spider-Man webbing, doing the sides and stuff, the blue buttons. Um, so all themed to Spider-Man. I did do, oh, I have done a few, like I say, a few examples. There's a lot of designs I do that don't you, you never see. I mean, there's so many designs I've done where I wish I had, the customer had agreed on because there's some quality designs. I think a Halloween design I've done for a... Um, what was it? Uh, Ultimate Deluxe Control Panel. It was cool, man. Yeah, it is. It is a few years old now, man. You got the Sindins as well, though, didn't you? Or the Sindin, didn't you send me one? I've still got that Sindin if you want it, mate. Uh, if I were you, just upgrade your Sindins to Gun for IR. Get someone to install a kit for you. And just upgrade it, man. Because I think you're going to need some new games as well added. Because I think you've got the 16, was it the 16 terabyte or the 24? Yeah, so, and I've done so much since since the last time I even looked at your build. Especially with the shooting games and stuff. So so much stuff. Um, Deadstone Pirates, all that stuff. Um, the different um, configurations and that. But, yeah. Oh, 11 terabyte. Yes, but you still got the Techno Parrot stuff, I think, haven't you? I'll sort some out with you, mate. You know what I mean? I think I've got a spare spare few 8 terabyte drives there. I could just send you a bloody 8 terabyte drive, upgrade your system to 16 for you. You, you always do me favours and that, running the group and stuff. So I'll sort some out with mate. We'll, we'll have a chat or something. But um, different harasses at the minute. My head's battered, <laughs> right? Um, I am mean, wanting to do a live stream as well, but I think I'm probably rushing it a bit. Um, but I want to do a big live stream with a 
bring a few people on and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Actually, what? Ah, I've got a package there. I'll check that out. Right. I'm going to shoot off in a way so I'm going to get actually some work done. And that instead of that run on. But um, like, share, subscribe to the videos. Hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you all later. Ta-da.